today I'm going to be talking about all the different games coming out in the second half of 2017. Uh, I'm going to make this a three part video. So I'm going to cover from July all the way to December. But in part one, I'm going to go over July and August. And here's the games for those. I'm going to have all these games in order, but just know in the time of making these videos, these are going to be the release dates, and these could very easily change whenever. But as it is right now, these are the release dates for these games. Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age is going to be a remaster of the original Final Fantasy XII is going to come with a whole bunch of new stuff within the game. It's going to look beautiful, tons of new gameplay variation, and if you want to play Final Fantasy XII since it was a great underappreciated game, this is the perfect time to get into it. Splatoon 2 is going to be one of the most highly anticipated Switch game, offering a lot more than the first game, including a co-op and a story mode, and the multiplayer seems even more hectic than the first one. It seems to be a straight upgrade from the first one. Check out the trailer, it's going to be dope, and I hope I get to see you in there, if I had a Switch. Splatoon 2 is out to be in July 21st. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered standalone. This is going to be the first time you can get Call of Duty Remastered by itself without having to have pre-purchased the special edition for Infinite Warfare. This is going to come out on PS4 July 27th and later on PC and Xbox One. This is honestly one of the best remasters I've ever seen for a game, but it is definitely downgraded by microtransactions and a $15 DLC but by itself it's still a great game it's still modern warfare but with a really fresh paint of coat has amazing multiplayer and single player and all just looks and plays fantastic with a couple changes here and there to make life just a bit better it's still a great game by the end of the day Activision still doing what Activ Activision does best Lawbreakers is a fast, intense, skill-based hero shooter that's going to come out August 8th. There's going to be these gravity zones that's going to make this game really special in which you can really move around all, or all around these gravity zones in a 3D way. And you can also, there's many different tools where you can propel yourself forward and in different ways with all the different characters you can use. The game has been in beta for a while. Everyone seems to be loving the game and I can't wait for it to come out. Gotcha! You like that? Angel of Red! Once again, hell is reaching deep inside of Hellblade is going to be a big double A game produced by Ninja Theory. It's going to come out August 8th. It's going to have really cool, fast action, really cool sound design, character design, amazing graphics and animation. And the big thing about this game is going to have a really crazy story. It's going to cost you $30 when it comes out, and it's going to be a short game. 
So that's why they're making it $30. And that's kind of what making this a double A game. And what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake? And we only see what our inner eye creates for us. Is this what happens? Agents of Mayhem is going to be produced by the people that made Saints Row, so you know it's going to be crazy. A lot of crazy open world gameplay, crazy things you can do, and it's going to be kind of like a hero shooter in a sense, so you can kind of switch between different characters that all have different moves. Gameplay seems to be fun. We'll see how the game turns out August 15th when it releases. Altor, they survive as soldiers of fortune. Come get some! If you want bad versus evil, if you want more fun per square mile, maybe you should play Agents of Mayhem. Cue the action music. Madden NFL 2018 is going to come out. August 22nd, they seem to be buckling down on the story, making it very interesting and very personal. It's going to have more of what you love, and slight tweaks to make this probably the best in the series. used to say when the world knocks you down you get back up again uncharted the lost legacy is going to be a standalone game that's going to come out august 22nd it's going to revolve around chloe and nadine doing awesome things it's going to be a 10 plus hour adventure of an Uncharted game, and there's no reason to not get back into Uncharted. It's a fantastic game, and I'm sure Naughty Dog's gonna come back and make this one just as good as Uncharted 4. You don't like anything. Oh, thank you. I'm slipping. You know that treasure hunting is not at the risk of us, right? Another is being a mercenary. You two, partners. And hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Pleasant surprise. You want the tusk? You need my help. A thief? Collector of antiquities. A parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. So that's a no? Felt like a no. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? Or history with the Saab made you the obvious choice. <laughs> You lie to my face. Cards on the table. I need your help. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. It's a limpid can't change your spots. You know nothing about me. Now the casualty of war. Don't! Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle is gonna be definitely the weirdest but most interesting game to really come out of E3 2017. It's gonna come out August 29th and this game is gonna mix Mario and Rabbit on this crazy adventure with this XCOM like style, amazing graphics and to be honest it looks like it has real potential. The strategy seems deep. And it has rabbits and Mario elements, and it seems to collide very well for how weird of a crossover this game is.
Absolver is going to be an indie fighting game. Seems very intense. It allows you to create your own combos. And it seems to be so deep and intricate and very interesting. I can't wait to play this game on August 29th. And all the people that have played the game seem to love it so far. We can't wait to see more of it. Life is Strange Before the Storm is going to be a prequel to the first Life is Strange game. And this one seems to be continuing the amazing story and the choices you made that really matter. And there's no reason not to get back into Life is Strange. The first one was amazing, I'm sure this one will be too. And if you hype for Life is Strange 2, this is a perfect way to tie you over. I feel numb in this kingdom. I feel numb. I feel numb in this kingdom Thank you for watching my video today. If you're interested in it, please like and subscribe and I'll keep making more of them for you.